Okay, let's talk about subtracting fractions. And we're actually going to do this problem here in a second. We'll do a few others. Uh, the main goal, uh, obviously, of this video is to teach you how to subtract fractions. But we're going to use some easy numbers here to really kind of, um, you know, uh, understand the procedure, the approach. You know, a lot of students are, you know, a struggle with fractions or, you know, I want to say have fraction phobia, but maybe that's a good term. I know I <laughs> did way back many, many years ago. And, you know, fractions is one of those things that a lot of people just don't want to deal with. They're like, oh, it's just a, they're just a big pain. You know, we got to like find an LCD and do all this other crazy stuff with them. But, you know, you got to make peace with fractions. You know, fractions are everywhere in math. And once you learn them and embrace them, they're not going to be so bad. So we're going to help you out in this video by, uh, teaching you how to subtract fractions and we're going to get into that in just one second but first let me go to quickly introduce myself my name is john i'm the founder of tama class math i'm also a middle and high school math teacher and over many years i have constructed what i believe is one of the best online video-based math help programs there is so if you need to take a full and complete math uh, course i can uh, help you or if you need assistance in a course that you're taking my program can help you out so in my program i offer very comprehensive, detailed, full-on math instruction. Plus, I teach you how to solve the most common problems in middle high school mathematics. I literally have thousands of problems that you can kind of uh, research and see, you know, what you need to uh, know to help you out in your current math situation. But I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. You can check that out if you want. Another thing is um, I'm taking math notes. If you're watching this video, I assume you might be in some sort of math class. If you are, just know this one thing. After decades of teaching mathematics, uh, I firmly believe this rule, and that is those students that take the best math notes get the best math grades, and the reverse is true. If your notes are sloppy, you don't take notes, uh, inconsistent, you struggle in math. And then students go, why am I doing bad in math? Well, I'm like, hey, let me see your math notes. Mm, I don't have my math notes. Well, they, you know, they got to see the picture there, right? So take a look at your math notes. That's a good indication of how well you're going to be doing. Um, if you need to improve, definitely improve. But you need something to study from in the meantime. And uh, I actually offer very detailed, comprehensive math notes. Those would include pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, and trigonometry. You can find a link to those in the description of this video. Okay, so let's talk about subtracting fractions. Now, the first thing you need to know about subtracting fractions is we need to know how to add fractions, okay? So let's kind of summarize it in uh, this way. Here is the, the our same problem, okay? So we have 3 fifths minus 9 tenths. Well, in order to do this problem, I need to be able to know how to do this problem, okay? In other words, I need to think of subtraction of fractions as the same as adding fractions, all right? Now, kind of like when you're learning fractions, we don't want to confuse fraction skill sets, if you will. So adding and subtracting fractions is pretty much the same thing, okay? When we're adding and subtracting um, fractions, same approach, we basically turn subtraction problems into addition problems, and this is where you need to understand how to find the LCD, okay? So if you need help with adding fractions and uh, how to find the LCD, just take a look in my pre-algebra playlist. I've been doing some more videos on the LCD and the LCM that can also help you out as well. But I got multiple videos on there that can help you review um, these concepts because this is where students really struggle. They're like, oh, how do you find the LCD, et cetera, et cetera. And I get it. Now, but let's not confuse adding and subtracting fractions, this kind of part of the fraction world with multiplication and division, okay? This is pretty much the same thing. We have to flip one of the fractions when we're multiplying, but effectively, this is kind of the easier part of the fraction world, okay? It's more direct, and uh, again, if you um, have any questions on this, just take a look. Uh, I put a lot of my fraction videos in my pre-algebra playlist. It's more basic kind of math in there. So don't confuse the two, okay? When you're learning, if you have questions about subtracting fractions, well, then I'm going to put this in context with you. This is kind of grouped together what we do with addition, all right? And that has nothing to do with what we do with multiplication and division. All right, so with that being said, let's go ahead 
And quick, let me just erase this. And let's just quickly review addition, and then we'll get into subtraction. So here we have 3 fifths plus 9 tenths. Okay, so what do we do? Well, first of all, when you're adding fractions, we need to determine, okay, are the don uh, denominators the same? Okay, no, they are not the same. Because if you have the same denominators, let's say 2 sevenths plus 1 sevenths, okay, you're like always go immediately, oh, it's addition, I'm dealing with fractions, I'm going to look at the denominators. Oh, they're the same? Perfect. I'm just going to write the same denominator, and I'm going to add the numerator. So 2 plus 1, I'll just write this way, 2 plus 1, get this out of the way, which is, of course, 3. So the answer to this uh, problem, 2 sevenths plus 1 sevenths, is 3 sevenths. Okay? So that is an illustration of what we want to do. We need to get the denominators the same. But if the denominators are not the same, like in this situation, we're like, oh, bummer, we don't have the same denominators. Okay, no problem. What should we make these denominators? We need to kind of rewrite these fractions such that they do have the same denominator. And what would that denominator be? Well, that is that lowest common denominator business, okay? So in this case, the LCD is 10, all right? So the LCD is 10 with these fractions. So I need to have each fraction have a 10 as its denominator. So I look here, I'm like, oh, this one already has a 10, but I need to fix up this guy here it has a five. So how can I make that five into a 10? Well, I can multiply it by two, and that'll make that into a 10. But if I multiply the denominator here by two, I also got to multiply the numerator by two, okay? Because I don't want to, you know, um, uh, change the actual value of this fraction. So this is going to make this fraction multiplication. We're just going to multiply across this way, six over ten now. Okay, so now, now three fifths. I like it better as six over ten. Okay, written that way because now it has a nice ten as its denominator. So now I can connect that with this nine tenths, and they have again the same denominators. Now I'm ready to add. Okay, so that's going to be ten six plus nine is uh, 15, and then I could just reduce that fraction uh, and go from there, okay? So that is a quick review of how to add fractions. And of course, we didn't do any mixed numbers, and there's a shortcut method that I like to uh, um, review as well. You can find those in those other videos I talked about. So let's get into this problem now, okay? So again, before you can subtract fractions, you gotta make sure you, have, you can, you can um, uh, add fractions. Okay, so same problem. I need to have the LCD, right? Okay, I don't have the same denominators. Here, the LCD, we already determined as it being 10. So I'm gonna rewrite this fraction. All right, I'm doing the same problem, more or less. Okay, so if I multiply this by two, I get 10. So this is going to be six over 10 minus nine over 10, okay? So, looking good so far. So, this is going to be equal to 10 over 6 minus 9. So, we're going to keep the same operation, right? The subtraction right here. Now, this is where we got to be on alert. We got to be on alert. When you're subtracting fractions, you need to know your rules of positive negative numbers, all right? So what does that mean? Well, let's just take a look at this real quick. If I have three, let's do it this way, five minus three, okay? What is the answer there? Five minus three, of course, all of you are saying, come on, you know, it, it is two, okay? And you're correct. But now let's just switch this around. What is three minus five? What's the answer there? Okay, think, think about it, all right? Hopefully, you, all of you said negative 2, okay? So Because this is, again, we're talking about the rules of positive and negative numbers. Look at my pre-algebra uh, playlist. I've done a ton of videos on this. So I don't want to go off any too many tangents here. You need to know how to find the LCD. You need to understand positive and negative numbers, how to add them, because this comes into play. When you're subtracting fractions, it's just like subtracting numbers, and you can end up with negative values, all right? So, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look here. 
I have 6. 6 minus 9 is what? Okay. Hopefully you said, oh, that's negative 3, not 3. So that's negative 3 over 10, and that is the answer. Okay. So got to be very, very careful um, with your positive negative numbers when you're uh, dealing with subtraction of fractions. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do this problem a little bit differently. And I'm going to use something called the bow tie method. But first of all, I'm going to show you it real quick with the basic addition problem. So let's say I have one half plus three fifths. Okay. Now, of course, I know the LCD here will be 10, right? So I can change both of these fractions such that, they have, such that the denominators are both 10, right? I'm not going to do that this way. I'm going to use this method called the bow tie method. So the way that goes is this. I'm going to multiply this way. It's always this exact pattern. I'm going to start with this denominator and multiply it to this numerator. Then I'm going to take this denominator and multiply it to this numerator. So here's how, here how, this is how it goes, right? So it's 5 times 1 is 5. Now, because it's an addition problem, I'm going to write plus. 2 times 3 is 6 over, that's my numerator. So I want this times this. It's always this one first, okay? That goes there. This is addition, so it's 2 times 3, that's 6, that goes there, that's my numerator, and my denominator is this, 2 times 5, that is 10, so the answer here would have been 11, or is 11 tenths, okay? Now, instead of multiplying this by 5, and this by 5, and this by 2, and this by 2, I could just use this uh, bow tie method. It's an awesome method to use, okay? So this is another thing you can do when you're subtracting fractions. So let's do this problem. Okay, we got negative three tenths here, but let's use the bow tie method. This way times this, this times this, okay, this times this, and then we'll have our denominator. So 10 times three is 30 minus five times nine is 45 over five times 10 is 50. So here, what do I get? I'm going to get negative 15, got to be careful, positive and negative numbers, over 50, okay? So now I can reduce this fraction. 5 goes into 50 10 times, right? And 5 goes into negative 15, negative 3. Okay, so this is equivalent. So I got the right answer. I just needed to simplify it. So this is something else you want to keep in mind when you're subtracting fractions, okay? That bow tie method. So remember, anytime you're dealing with addition or subtraction of fractions, you got to be thinking about the lowest common denominator, but always have that little bow tie method, hack, trick, shortcut, whatever you want to say, in your back pocket. Okay, it's very useful. Well, let's take a look at one last example, and we'll uh, use some mixed numbers. So let's say I had three and one half, and I'm subtracting it from two and one third. So what do I do in that situation? Well, you always want um, to change mixed numbers into improper fractions. So that goes like this. So it's going to be 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1, right? So 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1. So this is 7 halves minus 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1, right? So 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1. So that's 7 thirds. Now, here I can say, all right, uh, what is the LCD? So I have 2 and 3. Most of you out there would say, oh, the LCD is 6. And you would be correct. So I can take this problem. Let's do it this way. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna do it with change the denominators, and we'll use the little bow tie method here in a second. Okay. So L the LCD is six. So I'm gonna multiply this numerator and denominator by two, so I have a six in the denominator, and I'll multiply this by three, so I have a six in the denominator. So this would be 21 over 6 minus uh, 14 over 6. So when I find the difference there, that's going to be 21 minus 6 in my numerator, right? It's 21 minus, I'm sorry, 21 minus 14 in my numerator. So that is going to be equal to, let's just go ahead and get that down. So that's uh, 7, right? Positive 7 over 6. Okay. So hopefully, if we did this right, the 7, 6, that is the answer. Let's go ahead and do this bow tie method here and see if we get 7 over 6. Okay, so again, it's going to be this times this, 
this times this, this times this, and we'll start. 3 times 7 is 21. Okay, it's subtraction, so that's going to be minus 2 times 7. This way is 14 over 2 times 3 is 6. And look, we get the same thing here, right? This is this is this part is this. So I'm going to get 7 over 6. So it works. Now, I don't want you to be like, oh my goodness, this this bow tie method is the best. I'm never going to do this. Forget that. I'm not going to ever find the LCD again. Mm, wrong answer. You got to know how to find the LCD. And the bow tie method is, is a method that comes in, you know, very handy, especially in algebra. You need to know both, okay, for sure. So don't, you know, get too excited that you found, you know, this amazing fraction uh, trick. Just know that it's there and you should use it. Uh, from time to time, but you still have to know um, everything about the LCD, changing mixed numbers and improper fractions, positive and negative numbers, et cetera, et cetera. And you can learn all this stuff by checking out all my other videos on my YouTube channels, uh, particularly just going to my pre algebra playlist. I got hundreds of videos there uh, that has to do with uh, basic mathematics, and I got many on fractions, okay? So, Again, you got to make peace with fractions. They're everywhere. They're not going away, and we need them, okay? So just one step at a time when it comes to learning fractions, and you'll get where you need to go. So if you found this video helpful, useful, you enjoyed it in some way, please consider smashing that like button. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I'm posting new math videos all the time basic to advanced mathematics. Again, on my channel, I have um, things organized in uh, various playlists. So if you're studying fractions, you might really want to dig into my pre-algebra playlist. But my best uh, math resources will be found in the description of this video. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.